it stinks in there. Uh, that was Anna on the phone. She suggested that we come to Tilsley in Wigan today to a coffee shop called Mayhap. Now, I'm told they do the very best pancakes. I'm also told they do the very best Turkish eggs. And apparently, the coffee is on another level. Welcome to Mayhap. Yes, Reese. Yes, Matt. How are you doing? All right, man. This is busy. It's a Tuesday morning. I know. Every day now. So, Mayhap Coffee. It is. I know this place from a while ago, and it wasn't called Mayhap Coffee. No, it was uh, Redemption, Redemption Coffee. Redemption Coffee. Yeah. And you changed the name recently. Yeah, first of May. Legal battles. Do we want to go into that? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Mayhap Coffee it is. Lots of bakes, lots of pastries. Um, Specialising in great coffee here as well, don't you? Yeah, we love it. It's what we try and do. Like, we've got got our own roastery now so we you know try and do a bit of that and then we've always got guest coffees on as well so you take your coffee very seriously very seriously you want a decent cup of coffee come and see this boy uh, and what about brunch items mate what we got uh, everything pancakes bennies turkish eggs what's your works? favorite turkish eggs turkish always. eggs that's always. what anna said i should try all right well we'll try and get a table because it is pretty busy and i'm going to go meet owner matt and have some food you're friendly aren't you I can't believe how busy this place is, Matt. I know, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's unbelievable, Tuesday. They've been queuing out the door for the last two hours. Anyway, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So a couple of years you've been here. Yeah, uh, it's coming on, so it's 18 months since we opened. Okay. Um, it's just been a kind of bit of a roller coaster of trial, error, get it right, get lots of things wrong. I can't believe how busy it is, but clearly they're coming here for a reason, and we have some of those reasons in front of us. Um, Anna's mentioned the Turkish eggs. I want to go straight in on the Turkish eggs. Look at this. Can you... Got what, chorizo sausage in there? Yeah, we've got chorizo, we've got halloumi as well. Poached eggs, Aleppo chilli butter. So you get a bit of spice, but not too much. I love Turkish eggs. And then you've got your dippers to go for it. These are your grown-up soldiers to dip away and all that yoghurt and the egg. This is an absolute triumph. Hitting the spot. Yeah. I know, but we'll do some more of the interview in a minute. <laughs> Look at this. It looks this, like a massive Victoria sponge or it something. It does. This is the crowd pleaser. This, is this a single portion of pancakes? A single portion. Yeah, absolutely. Talk me through it. Well, the trick is to uh, try and tackle it and then ask for a takeaway box and finish it off later. That's pretty much what most people do. Yeah, I um, bet. <coughs> you never getting this done in one go, are you? No, no. But this is probably the one to go for. This has got the mixed berry compote on the top, which soaks in, so it makes it gooey, it's soaked into the pancakes. And then you've got the mascarpone on the hot pancakes kind of running in. It's very, 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 very good. Mm. It's absolutely cracking this. So let me get this straight. All made in-house. All made in-house. All your pastries, your croissants, you yep. do all those yourself in-house. Bake them well. in the morning. This uh, lemon meringue filling that we put in there. I'll have a little quick. I wasn't going to, yeah. but I'll have a... Uh, do love a bit of lemon meringue. Zingy! Nice, got it. And all your, your trays and your bakes? All the bakes, they're just made um, by a lady who just works around the corner and makes them out of the house. So these are as independent as they come. I'll take a bite of that. What you never ask. Yeah. Right, now this is our Banoffee Fudge French Toast. And it's a personal favourite of mine, so I do want you to try that. Your favourite, Matt, yeah. It is. There's some maple syrup. Now go to town on that. Oh, this is, I mean, it just looks filthy dirty. Oh, it's indulgent, mm, absolutely. <laughs> so this is your favourite? This is my favourite, this absolutely. Is, this is going to go well with a nice cup of coffee in it, and we've got a nice cup of coffee there. Perfectly, you've got the fudge in there, and it just complements the chocolate notes in the coffee. What do you think? You're feeling it, oh, the man. squidginess. I love a bad nothing. Yeah. Let's talk about your coffee for a minute as well, though. Yeah. This is about my fourth since I've been here. So we, we've just opened a roastery. Well, soon to be launched to the public. But right now we're roasting our own coffee. It's our blend, it's a mix of Colombian and Brazilian. 
So you're getting the sweetness in there, the sweet chocolate, the milk chocolate. Cracking coffee. There. And Reese, who I met earlier, yeah. he's got good pedigree. He's worked in like Federal in Manchester. He has, yeah. That's, that's where we kind of cut his teeth there. He's worked for 92 degrees and then he then moved over to here. And he's really the one who kind of made this what it is. I created the building and he created the personality of the place. What a lovely thing to say, but take a bit of credit for it yourself, man. Yeah. Reese can't hear you. I'm starting to feel a little bit emotional because yep. our time together is coming to an end. But you've got your classic steak and eggs and a little, what's this, little hash underneath? No, this is our rosti, uh, rosemary and cracked black pepper rosti. Oh, that rosemary yep. really comes true. It goes well with the steak. We didn't want to do steak and chips. We've always got to try something a little bit different. Perfectly this, yep, cooked. Medium steak. What do the people at Tilsby think of this place then? Yeah, we love it. I mean, that's, that's what we are, man. Everyone's local and everyone's... Uh, You're a Tilsley lad? Yeah, just live down the road. Reese lives about two minutes two away. Two minutes, 17 seconds to be precise. We've yeah. been here a couple of hours this morning. As yeah. I've already mentioned, queues out the door for hours, solid. For everyone, there's families with babies, there were the high vis lot, the workmen coming in, the lunch break, you're kind of just getting a real cross section of the community, aren't you? It. It's just, you know, life's rich tapestry just lives within these four walls. Um, yeah, we've got everyone. We, we are a part of the community. We, we kind of started the food enthusiast kind of revolution in the area and, um, and everything's slowly starting to pick up. The high street's improving and everyone's happier because of that. Well, long may it rain. What you're doing is cracking, honestly. And I remember what I said, I'd come here and travel half an hour for any one of these individual dishes. Thank you. Now, where'd those Turkish eggs go? All the way over, look at it, I mean, is there any left? Thanks, man. Busy place, massive portions, and the food tastes amazing. So no wonder it's so busy. And nice to be out in Wigan as well for a change. So thank you, Anna. And do you know what? If you've got anywhere that's maybe out of the city centre, let's get us going all over the ten boroughs of Greater Manchester. Leave us a little message below, and we could be going to your favourite place next. Right, I'm off to burn off that sugar.